Aaron just chilling at the airport. Here's my room. Nice, lots of shelving. I need to steal a chair from from somewhere. Yeah, looking good. <laughs> and I got somewhat of a view. Somewhat. Not that great. Nice. Okay, let's go grab some more stuff. You got a poker table. And all the chips, ready to go. Nice. Lots of fun this evening. There's my gear. Jacket that I'm selling at woodboss.ca. Turned it into a bit of a windbreaker. I cut out the insulation, so it's more like a windbreaker now. Windbreaker slash raincoat. There's my helmet, my two belts. Yeah. More gear strung up. Not shut down. 
down on race day. That's a grinder. There's a crab trap or a prawn traps up there. Another grinder. More grinders, lots of grinders down here. Yeah, this one is a, uh, you know what brand this one is. Yeah, anyway. The size of this chain, oh, was huge. It's uh, for the fellow butcher. There's camp. There's my gear. I think we're going in that green one. Green for there, but I'm not sure. I think that chopper is called the K-Max. I think that's what it's called. And there's the super snorkel back there. Off-road logging truck. Yeah. This barge here is just for the mechanics. It's got a mobile heavy duty workshop on a barge. It's a wicked setup. Oh look, there's another chopper over there. Another logging outfit. Yeah. So there's a couple float camps here. There's two over there. And then the one I'm in. And then this is like a private one. I don't know if it's for like fish guiding or hunting or you know hunting lodge or something. I don't know, but it looks like it's a private. It looks like in bad shape. Oh, look at that. I'll zoom in some more. Look at that, it's all rotting out. You won't be, able to, you won't be towing that anywhere. Now it's gonna be staying right here. And the incinerator right there stinks. I can smell it from here. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder how many people are in this bay right now. I wonder how many. Okay, so I got all my gear set up in camp, ready to go. It's about two hours before dinner. So I'm going to go check out this logging road. Uh, well, luckily, the camp I'm in, it's near a bunch of logging roads. It's near a log sort. So after work, I can go exploring on land. Because the last camp... It was a float camp that was isolated, so I had to stay in the camp. I couldn't leave and go on to the beach because it's just a big rock face. We're, we're uh, anchored up right near a rock face, and there's no way to go on land and check out logging roads and stuff. But this time, there is. <clears throat> so I can't really go far. I don't have much time. I'm going to get back for dinner because I'm actually pretty hungry. And there is a bridge way down there. I'll zoom in. There. Way down there, so the road eventually goes to that bridge and crosses. So I'll see if I can make it down there before I have to turn around and come back. This is all ocean here, right? This is a continuation of the bay. That's the end of the bay, I'm assuming, right there. So let's keep going. Let's go for a little walk. See where this road goes. And of course, I am keeping an eye out for quartz. The big rock face right here. Okay, keep my eye open. You never know. I might find a quartz vein full of gold. I didn't bring my gold pan. It's, it's in camp. I brought it here, but not, I'm not right now. So I did bring a gold pan. And I got a loop. Uh, and I got a spotting scope that has a uh, phone um, holder. So I, I can like um, take pictures with the phone on the scope. <clears throat> so I'll be doing that when I get a chance sometime to shift. It'll be fun. As I like looking at stuff. I like uh, looking at binoculars and looking at things far away. So I got a spotting scope that's even way better. So I had lots of fun with that. I was up at the uh, the skywalk down the Malahat in Victoria there, testing it out for the first time. 
I got it from uh, Amazon. It's a cheap deal, it's like 90 bucks. And then I was in Canadian Tower getting ready for camp, buying some stuff. I went through the sports section there and I seen the exact same spotting scope, different company, but basically the same, uh, everything was the same, same magnification, everything. And it was 250 bucks. So total rip off if you go to Canadian Tire, complete rip off. Just get it from Amazon, you get in a couple of days. <laughs> yeah. So I got a deal. Okay, well, let's keep walking. It's starting to sprinkle a little, a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't start raining on me. Okay, so this is a, a different bridge. Let's see what's like on this side. Oh, that's cool. That'd be fun to go canoeing down there. See where it goes. Oh, maybe that's the end right there. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, see what's over on this side. Oh yeah, okay, so there's that first bridge I seen right over there. And it looks like there's a cabin over there. Zoom me a little closer. Yeah. Oh yeah, and there's more. Okay, it's really starting to rain now. So I'm gonna head back to camp. It's about a 20 minute walk back to camp. And then just uh, prep my room. Cause I haven't unpacked anything. So I'll just unpack all my stuff in my room and just kind of chill until dinner. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. <clears throat> I don't know. I flew in with a buddy of mine. We worked together for years and I don't know if we're gonna be falling partners this shift, but that'd be kind of cool if we were. He runs a still, so, eh, you know. <laughs> yeah. The steel bars are nice though. And I run the steel chain too. But I like my Huskies. Yeah. But I did hear, I don't know if I said it already, but I did hear from some other guys that they missed a bunch of days in the last week for fog because I'm we're heli logging and they missed a couple days and then they had a couple more days of uh late starts so they had to wait for the fog to lift and they had a late start so I don't know how many days I'm gonna get in this shift I'm trying to save up some money and uh, get a lot of days in it's the worst when you're completely fogged out and you can't work and you're stuck in camp and you can't do anything and you're not making money but if you're working from home, at least, you know, you go back home and you're home and you can do stuff. But out in camp here, if you're not cutting trees, you're not making money. It's just how it goes. Because we're not employees, we're contractors. So we want to get paid for the work we do. Yeah. So hopefully we get a lot of days in. Or if you miss a few days, I might just stay an extra week. So I'll do like three weeks in here. We'll see. Um, yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a bit.